Today, I will talk about the general structural design of the kayak. The bow and stern are two fixed triangular wedge, and this create a very robust structure. In the middle, there are multiple structural elements to prevent the kayak from folding or excessive bending. The top gunnel, with the embedded flattened PVC pipe, provided the longitudinal supporting structure. A tubular or round PVC pipe would be even better, but I have not been able to come up with a good way to embed the round pipe into the design due to the limited bending radius of corpus. The corpus itself, with channels running back and forth, also help with the longitudinal strength. In this design, the floor is 28 inches wide. I made the floorboard about one inch wider than the actual width of the floor. I made two fold lines on it. I used zip tie to secure the seat. I have multiple mounting holes on the floor, so I can adjust the positioning of the seat as needed. As I push down on the seat, both sides of the floorboard move up slightly and press against the folded sidewall and form the two triangular tubular channels on both sides of the kayak. Since the draft is only around 2 to 4 inches, this provides good support on the wall to handle the water pressure. If you heat fuse the middle part of the floor to the kayak, you can also fold up the floorboard for storage. I place a crossbar at the back together with the structure of the meat section. It formed a semi-rigid box. I do worry about the structural support at the transition points. Those are the areas shown here. I extended the PVC pipe at the triangular fold area and secured the side of the bow to the PVC pipe. It seemed to be working well. The triangular fold also provided vertical strength at the transition areas. Next video, I will discuss the general assembly of the kayak and also how to modify the kayak plan and how to make an integrated seat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thanks for your support. Bye.